Let's try it. Here we go. This is a TI-83. The TI-89s and the TI-84s are very similar to this. You will have to find certain things in certain places, okay? So let's, let's all do this first. I'm going to press the mode button on my calculator. And I am going to verify that my calculator is in degrees. Because degrees is darker, I know I'm in degrees right now. I also want to double check that I have function. I'm going to do this as a function. I want to double check that I ha have my calculator set to a function and I'm in degrees. Got it? I'll press clear to get out of this. I want to enter in the function of y equals sine of x. So I'm going to press this button that's on the left hand side, y equals, I'm going to press that button. And I should see y1, y2, y3, all the way down, it's blank. If there's anything here, you need to delete it or clear it out. Delete clear each one. I'm going to press the sign button. Y equals sine of, what do I want? X. This button right here, right next to the alpha, is my basic variable, whether I'm using X or T or theta or N. I'm just going to press it. It will automatically know to use X because I have function already selected. I'm going to end, don't forget this parenthesis, by pressing parenthesis button. And then I'm going to press enter or execute if I have the Casio calculator. Okay? So I have entered in the function y equals sine of x. And I had a whole huge table of things for you to calculate. That's, like I said, the long way. So I'm going to set up a table by going to this little thing that says table set. It's right above the window. It's yellow. So I'm going to press second window to get to table set. The calculator is going to ask me, where do you want to start your table at? What is your first value? And you all should know it is zero. zero. What does your uh, table go up by? When you look at degrees, it goes up zero, then it goes 30, 30 then it goes to what? 45. 45, then to 60. So what is the basic increment that it's going up? About 15, sometimes 30, sometimes 15. So let's just do every 15 degrees. That's what this means. What's the change of your table? What do you want your table to go up by every single time? I want it to go up by 15. Can you see how we're doing this? Enter, enter, once you change it from 0 to 15. And then independent, auto, dependent, auto. I want you to automatically fill in the blanks, calculator. I don't want you to ask me. I want you to do it. So now I'm going to go to this button over here that says table. It's right above my graph key. I'm going to press second, table, and voila. Voila. This means when x is 0, the sine of x is 0. When x is, okay, I don't need the 15. When x is 30, the sine is 0.5. Remember, I want to go to tenths place. When x is 45, it's 0.7. That's root 2 over 2, by the way. So now that I have all these values, I can even scroll down. There will be some negative values in here. You can fill out your chart without having to go and plug in each one of those in by hand because you have made a table. If you cannot get this, I will be coming around and showing you how to do it. I'm going to stop the recording right now. At least I thought I was.